If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys the fastest way to level up in Madden 22, guys. Now, this year may be one of the harder level up grinds we've had in recent history. There's no such thing as getting this done in five hours anymore. This could, this is going to take weeks more than likely but again if you don't do it right you may never finish the level 50 i'll be honest with you guys if you don't take advantage so just strictly playing the game more than likely will never get you to level 50 you're going to have to at some point grind a little bit which is okay because that's what we want we want to have things to grind for things to play for but it's going to take some time nonetheless guys it is important that you know this information because there's some really good rewards you get from leveling up it's kind of like a battle pass similar to fortnite and warzone and a few other things but before we get into the video, guys, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up, as always. The likes have been killing, helping the channel kill it today and yesterday, guys. Appreciate you guys for the support. Make sure to subscribe if you're new. Always have that noti bell on so you're notified for every video I post. And, of course, if you want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, all you gotta do is like the video and comment down below Poodle Squad. Today's shout-out goes to Toriano Abram. Shout-out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. Thank you for showing support. Now, let's get into this, guys. So, leveling up. I'm currently level 4, and, guys, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. Well, first two things. I've been so focused on recording, it's been a little bit hard for me to just strictly level up. Hopefully, once things settle, I can finally start, you know, getting into all this. But I'm, I'm doing the daily stuff that I have to do. But what I have to recommend, guys, also, is that 4 is, it actually isn't, isn't that short. It's not as low as you may think. 4 did take me, I finished all the early access solos. I finished a few weeks of campaign. I finished, um, I've done the dailies. I've done some objectives. I already have cam. Like, it takes some time. It's not as easy as you guys probably think this year. But here's the thing, to get your solos this year, it's going to be more focused on ultimate season, daily objectives, and objective-based rewards earning. Uh, solos really only give you about 100 XP per what you've been getting, so technically if it's like 10,000 XP for something, it could take you 100 solos. I'm telling you, it takes some time. So you want to be focusing on this. So first thing, guys, your daily objectives. Make sure you do these every day for a few reasons beyond leveling up. Your daily objectives do go towards earning Cam Chancellor. They do go towards potentially power rewards, power pass stuff like they've always done in years past. So make sure you're getting your daily objectives done. Also, you can get a daily quick self if you finish the, uh, the what's called the extended daily. Now, here's the thing. In my personal opinion, guys, this takes like, no joke, you can get this whole this whole daily thing done under like maybe a minute and a half. Go right into the Patrick Mahomes EA Access solo. And if you guys, if that one's gone by the time you're seeing this video, uh, just go literally into any of the campaign solos that have like a quick objective, like throw a pass, complete a pass, EX, any of those like preseason level solos, just go into one of those. If you just play that game once, it takes you like no like 20 seconds, and you replay it again, 20 seconds, and then you load out. All you gotta do, what I do from there is, guys, you wanna go to the store to get your pack. Don't spend actual like coins on it. You know, you don't wanna be spending like an actual lot of money. So go to the browser store, go to players, and go to get a player for 500 coins. I buy that every single day. It adds up eventually, but not not a lot. And make sure you do that. Now we'll get your daily. So the daily does award you with daily XP. And trust me, it's noticeable. I've played a bunch of solos. My bar goes like this each time. And I get my daily. I get like a little chunk. So it's it's definitely noticeable. And you definitely want to be getting that done for more than a few reasons, like I said. Next, we'll be focusing on, guys, after the daily objectives is going to be all the way over here is the ultimate season first quarter. So these are going to be the ones that give you the most XP for what you're doing. This is the first quarter. Like, this is what it is. Like, this is the stuff you have to be completing pretty much to get leveled up. Because this gives you right here 15,000 XP, 10,000 XP, 5,000 XP. 7,500 XP, 10,000 XP, 5,000 XP, 5,000 XP, 2,500 XP. Open 50 packs. Down right there, you don't really have to focus on. I'm telling you, if you just play, if you you open, if you were to open a bundle or a few, you probably get that done. But I wouldn't recommend spending money. You could honestly go through just with your every day. This lasts like 90 days. So if you just sit there, guys, and every day you open up your daily pack for your daily objectives, you're going to get at least 50. So that's going to be easy. Um, you're going to get packs from solos. You're going to get that done pretty fast. So don't worry about that one. Now, the ones you want to be focusing on, come back to the front. Earn 175 stars in campaign. Now, that's going to take a while. So, I wouldn't recommend you go straight through starting on doing that one. But keep that in the back of your head. You're going to have to play campaign to get your team captain anyway. So, start getting some of those done. That's going to take a bit though, guys. Because campaign has a full game every single week. Uh, so, it's going to take some time. Every in-game week. Not like actual week. So, I want to be focusing on the rush of 4,000 yards. The 30 fumbles. The 100 games. And then potentially these, which we'll get into in a second. So, these are the first three you want to focus on, right? Because there's going to be a decent chunk of XP. A total of about 2,500. 22,500 XP. So rush 4,000 yards, guys. I will show you the solos in a second. I'm going to go through what you want to do with these, and I'll show you the solos that I recommend. So 4,000 yards is very simple. All you got to do, if you can, you can either joint do them or separately. Now, here's the way you can do this. You can either go into a solo that's just rush for like five yards and just keep breaking away runs and replaying them. That would be the quickest way to do that. But if you want to double up, guys, for the 30 fumbles too, I would recommend going into a full game solo that's on arcade mode. So you can go ahead and 
and you can rush for a 100 yard touchdown and when you get it when you get a kick return make sure you take it back to the one and kneel and then rush for 100 yard touchdown make sure you're stiff arming doing power stuff because that will get you the break break breakaways in arcade and then of course guys when you go on offense when you kick it off first off when you do the kickoff that's when you want to go for the fumble always hit stick uh turn your stripping and, and tackling and aggressive so it'll hit stick for you they fumble instantly if you get a hit stick on them they're gonna fumble so on kickoffs is the best it's the easiest way you can get them on kickoffs and if not you guys have to um if they're gonna catch a pass guys and you're right there to tackle pull your cpu off like if they're behind them for a, a shoestring tackle pull them off you want to draw someone in for hit stick you don't want to be dealing with any shoestring tackles because it prolongs the drives if they're running the ball sometimes it's best to pull a guy off that's going to get the easy tackle and get someone that can hit stick him or you know user up the middle or just blitz all game so that you or just blitz all game that's another way to do it too fumbles are going to take some time but it's only 30 so you could get that done probably within a day if you really just sat there you'll probably get like in one full game you could probably get like five to ten fumbles probably uh, five to ten fumbles and you could probably get at least a thousand rushing yards in one full game but again those that games will take a long time because you're going to probably be dragging that so that could take like that could be like an hour-long game no joke if you really just rush kick fumble rush kick fumble rush if you could really perfect it it's gonna, it's gonna be a long game it could, okay, this could take a few hours but that's gonna get you right there 1500 and then of course a uh, 15,000. and then here's the 100 games guys you do just get that from just replaying solo so i already have 48 percent honestly while you're gonna get you're gonna get that one done while doing this one um these are gonna be full games like i said so that will take a little bit that won't get you as many games done, but that's gonna be attributing to that now to finish the 100 games i'm gonna take you guys over now to these solo screens so you can get an idea of where i'm going with these solos so like i said right now the best things to do with the ea access solos so for me personally if you want to finish the 100 games quickly you're gonna come over to ea access go to my homes go to right here complete a five yard pass you go into it guys literally throw a five anything just throw a pass and get five yards or throw it five yards and don't 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 be the guy that does jukes after and dances and wait don't waste time get the five yard pass and double click the button x and get or depending on your console you know you know the deal dive down right away cancel and then go to replay you don't back out you go to replay it might say access denied you click through that sometimes you keep replaying it for you know th honestly this one you could probably complete this every like 20 30 seconds so you could probably finish the 100 games like within an hour or two of doing this maybe less um probably less it depends on how quick you are and how distracted you get so make sure you go ahead and you get that done first and foremost that'll be that one now once you run out of the objectives right because remember once you run out of those first quarter objectives that's all you're gonna have for now so the best you could do guys again is this solo i'm gonna go over some stuff you could do with the uh full games in a second so when you want to just level up you just go into the solo over and over gonna keep replaying it so you get the 100 games on obviously also side note this solo is pretty good for the camp chancellor stuff like passing yards and stuff as well if that's a you know like for objective based stuff like that now for the offensive ones this is why full game is gonna be good i'm gonna get over that in a second but yeah so just to grind out straight xp you could do this one once you do, do the objectives first and then come back to this one now when it comes to full games guys the EA access ones are pretty good um because there's thing these EA access ones like over here like fourth quarter this one right here is fourth quarter 12 minutes there's a few in the first quarter these are good because they're on arcade mode so the issue with the access solo is that they will be disappearing soon for the time being guys i recommend you go into an easy EA access solo just like this one you go into this one it's a full game and it, it goes like whole game you can easily every single play rush for yards hit them rush for yards hit them rush for yards hit them back and forth back and forth that's gonna get that done like i said re it's gonna take some time but it's gonna be more reasonable than just playing the game i'm telling you if you just straight up play heads ahead and you play weekend league and you play like stuff casually you will never probably get to level 50 you're gonna have to do some kind of grind for it and then guys when these are gone we're gonna have to do it so here's the thing when it comes to full game solos what you're gonna want to do is come over to game one versus the bengals in terms of when you're trying to actually go ahead and get the the rushing yards and the passing or whatever and the and the fumbles and everything play a full game on arcade you want it on arcade because like i said that's where you get that's instant fumbles that's instant broken tackles if you do it any other way you're gonna probably kind of screw because you can hit stick all day in other in other difficulties and you may not be you're not gonna be getting fumbles every time so and it's not like you gotta hit stick every time you hit them sometimes you miss sometimes you get a bad animation sometimes they they swerve you out and then you, you get a bad angle so you got to just shoot and tackle them sometimes you give up touchdowns so i guess the best advice go into this full game when you take the kickoff go down to like the two or the one rush up the middle break a tackle or just outrun them get a pretty decently fast running back don't use the base when you get i'm telling you that guy sucks the mason guy do not use him um oh also one big thing of advice i can give you guys just in general this has nothing to do with leveling up when if you want to get cam chancellor done fast as well make sure you are not putting in a whole team yet because you're gonna have to get games with player with uh, teams under 70 and then games with teams under 60 or under 80 so if you put a whole team in at 80 you're gonna have to go back later on and go and play games with 67 so i'm leaving my team at a 69 overall that's one below 70 no pun intended one below 70 so i'll get the 70s the 80s and the 83s and everything else until it's play above right so that's when you'll go to that 
but make sure you're playing your under ones guys that pretty much wraps it up full game solo so this is a great one right here once uh everything's out when e axis is gone guys like i said you can come here instead of the home solo and this is just complete this complete three passes so if you're just going for yards you can play one like this that starts you off in passing if you want to play one for rushes this is a great one for rushing once all the home stuff is gone and then again but like i said hopefully you're doing it during the ea access that's about it um you know take advantage of those ea access solos they are great for leveling up when everything's gone of course we're gonna be getting more solos pretty soon so eventually but guys the best thing you can do is take the advice i gave you on how to go at about attacking these and adjust into solos like you know last year eventually a new solo a new a new solo sequence come out where it starts you off on the goal line it's like an e or like it starts you off on the one yard line or it's like uh starts you off on the one yard line score goal line touchdown that's how you're gonna grind out your touchdowns so just adjust and understand that things will change we don't have a lot of solos in the game right now but we will get more that's what it. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed today's video. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. Turn that notification bell. Give this video a big thumbs up as always. Smash the like button, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day. I'm out. Peace.